All right, welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys had an awesome day and I appreciate everybody coming back and watching the videos. And if you're new, I appreciate you stopping on by to check out the snakes. So we're gonna be feeding a lot of the newer snakes. Some of them are in shed, so we're gonna try to feed one that is coming out of blue and then we're not gonna feed the IMG Motley Jungle Hypo because she is in deep, deep blue where her eyes are totally glossed over. And so I'm just gonna wait until she goes out of that phase. And then she gets into like her normal phase, like just before she sheds and try to feed her. So we'll be feeding one less snake, um, smaller snake tonight, but we're gonna be feeding the three newer snakes and hopefully they eat. Um, They've been eating very well. I just got the IMG Motley, so hopefully she eats what I'm going to be giving her. So the rats are kind of bloody. Um, you know, these are frozen. I just thawed them out um, with water and then set them out so they're kind of gross looking. But hopefully it does not bother anybody and YouTube does not try to shut this down because of a few bloody rats so then i did not pre-kill them um they, i got them already killed and frozen so we're gonna start off with feeding the guyana and she has already shed out a couple times this year which is exciting she's growing nicely there we go give her a nice large mouse I don't know if, I think those are mice, yeah. Big mouse. So it's perfect for her. And I don't know where my other um, feeding tongs went, so I had to get these weird ones. They, they both came in a package. Somebody messaged me about what which ones I'm using. And I just bought a pack of um, these Pittsburgh ones, these cheapos from Harbor Freight and I think I got two for like I don't know eight bucks or something so um, not not too bad so this is the one that's in shed my hypo jungle you can see her eyes are kind of glossed over but um, we'll see so kind of a large meal for her but I think she'll be all right. She's been taking rat pups without any issues, so I'm not too worried about a, uh, a size like this. But looks like she's doing no no problems <laughs> being in shed. And then we'll check on her in, in a little bit um, after we do our rounds with the other snakes. So and we'll go ahead and do the motley and then move her so definitely running out of space table room on the big cage so it'd be nice in the next probably a month hopefully less than that i get a nice rack system in and then there we go i always have to find him let's not forget that it's a male that i got and looking really nice so I'm going to feed him a very small mouse just to make sure he eats and that he's settled in and I don't have any issues and my light is about to fall over. So very, very tiny. Should be perfectly fine the size. I mean, he shouldn't have any issues, but I don't know if he will eat. He's been eating frozen thawed, but since I just got him, he might not be settled in because this is a much larger tub that he's used to. So, um, I don't know. Might have to wait a couple more days for him to be fully settled in. And I've been kind of taking pictures of him and <laughs> holding him so that did not help either but we'll just leave that in there if he eats it it's fine if not um, I will wait so I know he did eat so today is uh, Saturday night I know he did eat Monday without any issues so it might be a little early still 
Uh, so if he doesn't eat, then I will just wait again until Monday uh, for the full week. So we'll see if the Moon Glow wants to eat. And then we'll see where she is. There we go. So the, okay, so the snow was in shed last time I saw, not the moon glow. So she should not have any issues eating. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And then we'll check back on some of these um, just to see how they're eating. And I have not fed this one yet. So we'll see how she does. And she's big for a 2020. Or sorry, 2021. She was just born at the beginning of the year. We'll see how she does. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was crazy. Sorry, I did not catch that on camera. She just flung around and... and basically grabbed the, the mouse and I wasn't even ready for it. I didn't think she would be that violent on the attack, but there we go. So, good to see that she is eating. And we're gonna go ahead and just double check really fast. Nothing. So I might have to spend a little bit more time with him and putting it in front of his face and stuff like that, which I'll do super fast. I really think I he needs more time to be settled in. A lot of people say a week or two weeks. Yeah, I think he needs more time. So, I mean, I'll just leave it there, and if it's still here in the morning, I'll just toss it and try again in a couple days. No problem. It's a boa, so I'm not too concerned about him not, not eating. He just needs to do well in the room first. All right, so I don't think I've really shown, I don't remember if I've shown me feeding her very much since she's been on medication and that she's been doing uh, much much better we can see her skin looks thousand times better and this will be her fourth meal since the medicine and she's kept down all four meals so before she gets too crazy and wants to get away I do have a bird for her so I cut the head off cut the wings off and I cut the feet off just because it makes me feel personally better um, since she was having those issues that if she does regurgitate the beak and the and the feet and the wings um, don't expand and do something weird um, as it's coming up <laughs> so it just makes me feel better and my plan with her is um, I'm going to be picking up some day-old quail which are very very tiny and I'm going to start feeding her the day-old quail and then once she is getting close to Eat, finish eating the day old quail I'm gonna have a rat well these are mice but I'm gonna have a rat um, you know right when she gets the last bite in scoop in the rat right behind the bird so she eats both of them at once I really want her to get on rat so um, we're gonna try that because I can't I'm worried because that bird is pretty big and it definitely leaves a lump in her so I think if I feed her that with a rat I think it would just be too much for her to handle, especially after she's been having the regurgitation issues. Um, but again, the medicine worked, um, followed through with the two weeks, and she's definitely hungry and she needs, um, definitely needs some food in her f for the energy, but need her on rats. So the male snow is coming out of blue, has not shed yet, 
So I don't know if he will eat or not, but I'm going to try. Some are a little picky when they're coming out of blue. Really, really nasty, <laughs> bloody mouse. Are you interested? Do you want it? Do not know what's going on since it's all red. Like this is kind of the striking position. Not really sure what's happening right now, but I guess I can try one that's less gross looking. All right, so apparently I got a couple snakes that are needing a little bit more time. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just being picky, I guess, but he struck at it, wrapped it, and hopefully that's good enough. So I got one extra out, and I think it was, yeah, this one was supposed to be, one of these was supposed to be for the, the other IMG Molly Jungle, which is not going to eat because she is totally in deep blue like her eyes are fully glossed over so this girl hates me we all know this and i am working with her and she's already throwing a fit the one good thing is um since she hates everything she is a very good eater so also she'll try to attack me but oh there we go so, well, now that we are in an interesting position um, over here, but man, she looks really nice. Like her colors are awesome. So we'll just she needs to get off of here. There we go. So she's wrapped up big time. We can just set her over there. No problems, and then she'll eat that on her own, and she'll probably be hissing the entire time. So, I mean, this is definitely gonna be a snake that's not gonna be a one time handle, and she's fine. I think, I really think the snake is gonna be a, a challenge, and it's gonna take months. It's definitely gonna take longer than a week or two. I, I, I guarantee that. So, that'll be a <laughs> an interesting thing. I mean, I've, I've even had some people tell me that they've had snakes like that and they don't change at all and they were just mean all the time so I hope that's not the case I hope I can break her attitude uh, that's kind of how the, the berm was I mean not that mean but she was definitely hissy and, and st struck a little bit and the berm and I have a pretty good relationship now so we'll have to see what the future holds between uh, the the Aztec and myself and this girl is crushing this bird right now which is very nice to see because she needs to eat and get a lot of her nutrition up and the motley is not eating it's good to see this girl is though I can't believe how big this girl is like but Looks really good, healthy, eating very well it seems. And then, yeah. So that's what's going on over here is feeding the babies. And that's it. So I have one extra that's been out thawing. So I'll just, I don't know. I'll probably just either throw it away or give it to the king snake and have have her eat it because they're they're pretty much garbage disposals anyways and put the lids back on all right guys that is it hopefully you guys enjoyed watching some of them eat and um, have an awesome weekend and i'll see you guys on the next video